It and slices with the driver. We all hate it. Students come to me daily struggling with this problem. There's a really simple fix for lots of golfers, a real common issue for why many of you can't stop slicing your driver. And this reason is also what's costing you like crazy amounts of distance with your driver. Let's show you what I mean. So I want you to get a head cover. I've got my ZX Mark II 5 head cover here off my driver, and I want you to pop it under your lead arm, so right up in your armpit. Now, the big problem with this idea, and lots of you seen, have seen this kind of drill, this drill is so bad for so many people. <laughs> so with this under your arm, I want you to see how far back you can go. For lots of golfers, the problem they get is they can get near the top of their backswing and it stay under their arm. Cause it weak. I mean, I get no speed doing that curving off to the right shots and curve left as well but for lots of people it's weak curving off to the right where really what we need in your backswing is for you to create some space between your chest your upper body and your lead arm there needs to be a gap here because if there's no gap there's no room for you to make the downswing that you need to make so i go top of my backswing and stop keeping my arm quite tight across my chest which so many of you could do now to start my downswing there's literally no room for me to drop down this way i'm stuck on my chest now what happens from here is you try to create room. So you try to get your chest out of the way. Look where we start going. We start pulling this handle, getting the club to overtake. So the center of gravity of the club goes over the center of gravity or over the hand path, I should say. And then we start seeing whoy, the big crash. Now I'm relatively slim. If you've got a chest or bigger muscles than me as well, this gets so tough. The amount of women golfers, the amount of men who have workout and have big bodies or even a slightly overweight and they've got bigger upper bodies, they do this even more and literally have no room to start their downswing. We need to try and create this space in here. Let's get that head cover back and let's use it properly. So with this head cover under lead armpit, now what I'm gonna do is have a relatively small amount of time where it's connected. So as I start back, it's quite a good feeling for feeling everything starting together. Now I'm gonna try and get it out quite quickly. So I'm gonna start now trying to move my shoulders away from my arm to get it dropped, to get some reach. That reach is gonna allow you to get your club path better. That reach is gonna allow you to get some speed with some stretch, some longer hand path moves. So this space, trying to get that head cover out early, this stretch. We start seeing some different shapes. I see some crazy different speeds, 111 mile an hour club head speed compared to 95 mile an hour club head speed. Obviously I'm taking this to the extreme with those two ideas, but you need to try and get that head cover out of your takeaway as early as you can. For me, it's as soon as my arms start going up, I'm basically trying to get my chest to run away, create some room to get some stretch to allow me to start getting the club down on a better path and into some place where I can actually chuck it at the club with confidence or chuck it at the ball with confidence to hit my target. Let's get this head cover drill the right way around. The idea of this has been killing this and still does for so many years. Let's get this head cover dropping early to get some space then you're gonna start in it longer and straighter. It works with so many of my students. Now if you want to improve how you strike your driver and other clubs, these ideas here are just killing it at the minute.